Hey, what's happening you guys? D'Angelo here from Sweetwater and today is an awesome day in the studio. We're gonna be taking a look at a new plugin by Audio Modern called Loop Mix. Man, I absolutely love Loop Mix. It's super creative and easy to use. If you're a music producer or somebody that has a lot of different loops and samples in your sound library and you wanna repurpose those sounds, then Loop Mix is definitely right for you. So what exactly is Loop Mix? Loop Mix is a VST plugin that allows you to load up to like six different samples and remix them utilizing the randomization tools within the plugin. It can be anything from like drums, vocals, effects, synths, pretty much anything that's an audio file, you can load it up inside of Loop Mix and remix it. So with that being said, let's go ahead and dive in. And I'm gonna show you guys some of my favorite features about Loop Mix and how I utilize it in my workflow. So I got an instance of machine here loaded on the screen and for the sake of this video, I created a quick sample beat uh, utilizing some drums, hi-hats, loops, and we're just gonna take a listen to that, see how it sounds, and then I'm gonna show you guys how I utilize Loop Mix in my, my workflow. So here it is, let's take a listen. All right, so that's pretty much it. Something simple, nothing too crazy. So at this point, the beat sounds really good and we got a good groove going, but we're lacking those percussive elements that can make it sound a little bit more. And that's typically when I turn the loop mix uh, because I find that it works very well on drums and percussive elements. So let's go ahead and pull up an instance of loop mix here really quick. All right, so I got an instance of Loop Mix pulled up, and as you can see, I got samples loaded up, but there's nothing really going on. Um, to actually load samples is very easy. All you have to do is navigate to your hard drive inside of your DAW and actually drag and drop them inside of Loop Mix, just like this real quick. Let me show you all. All right, so now that you see that we have a few samples here loaded inside of Loop Mix, there's nothing really going on. Uh, what we need to do is we need to tell Loop Mix, hey, we need you to actually make some selections for us. So we're gonna do that by pressing this randomization button right here at the top. All right, so now Loop Mix has made a few selections for us. So let's take a listen to this and see how it actually sounds inside of uh, our project. As you can see, Loop Mix has made various selections for us inside of the program. All right, so that sounds pretty cool, but we can take it a step further and get a little bit more creative with it. All we have to do is come over here to the sequence selection and we can make our own selections of which portions of the samples we want to play. So I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of some of these right here. And now I'm gonna make a few selections on my own. You notice that I can make multiple selections. If I was to change this to mono, then Loop Mix switches and it only allows me to select one portion of the sample at a time. But for this, since it's percussive elements, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, keep it on poly so we can make multiple selections. So let's go ahead and select some of these areas right here. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play this back with the beat and we're gonna see exactly how it sounds inside of my beat that we're making here. So Loop Mix did a pretty good job with selecting some of our samples, but we could take things a little bit further and actually apply some randomizations to each of these subsections right here and give us a little bit more creativity. So our first section is the sequence. I already showed you guys that, but this next tab is our rearranger. Now the rearranger is super cool because it allows us to actually take one portion of a sample and drag and drop it to another portion. So like, for example, I got this section right here and I want to move it right over here to this floor. Now Loop, what Loop Mix did was it replaced that first section with this section right here and this is kind of what it sounds like let me go ahead and do a few more here and then let's go ahead and play it back so we can listen to how it sounds All 
All right, so the reverse section right here is just like the rearrange section, but the only thing is is that it reverses each sample. So just like the rearrange section, all you gotta do is come on, click on it, and it actually reverses that section for us. So let's go ahead and reverse some of these, and then we'll take a listen to see exactly how our beat is sounding. All right, so this next section is our density section. I don't know why they named it density, but all it is is nothing but repeat or stutter effect. So it's super simple to actually make one of these sections stutter. All you have to do is come over here and drag this up and it automatically makes slices on that individual section for us. So let's add a few slices here and there and see what we can come up with. But I got another instance of loop mix loaded here with some vocal chops on it, and I'm gonna apply some of the volume and pitch effects to this vocal chop, and we're just gonna take a listen to see how it sounds. All right, so let me mute that really quick. Now let's go inside this volume tab, and let's turn some of these vocal chops down, and let's switch over to the pitch tab and let's bring some of these up, just to see how it sounds. Might not sound good, but we're just being creative and showing you guys my workflow. So it doesn't sound that good, but it's okay. We're just trying to be creative. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and reset that. And all I have to do is press this button right here and that button right there, and it resets everything inside of Loop Mix for us. So as you can see, man, it's super easy to utilize Loop Mix. Make sure you guys go over to Sweetwater.com or get in contact with your Sweetwater sales engineer that can help you out a little bit more. Until next time, you guys be awesome and be creative.